Hi guys, it's Miriam Florio, and today we're gonna to be going through Microsoft Dynamics 365 buzzwords. So there are a lot of words out there that people use when they're talking about CRM, and I wanna address those words and hopefully clarify it so it's a little bit easier to understand the whole concept. Number one term that is either misused or people don't understand is the term leads. So what is a lead um, and what does it have to do with your business? A lead is an account or a contact that's in its infancy stage. So those leads would hopefully later on turn into an account or contact in your Dynamics 365 system, but it's really a cold lead or an account or an individual that you haven't had contact with. So you would store those in the lead section of the system. So it's not an actual potential sale itself, it's just that individual or company that you hope to make a customer. So hopefully that clarifies that. The next word, and this has to do with the whole idea of leads as well, is opportunities. So an opportunity is just replace that whole term with potential sale. That makes it easier to understand. It's not a person, it's not a company, but it's actual the potential sale itself. And opportunities can exist for new prospects. Um, they can also exist for your existing customers, right? So you might have a customer that you're trying to upsell or get repeat business from, and those sales opportunities are associated with those accounts. Um, so an opportunity is a potential sale. Number three term, cases. So a lot of you folks that are using Dynamics 365 or hope to use it aren't familiar with the term case. And cases are really trouble tickets or issues that you have that you're tracking against your customers. So if you have customers that have shipping issues, for example, or they might have a quality problem with you, you can track them inside of Dynamics 365 as a case that's linked to that account and contact in the system. So it's just a really um, a management for you to use to keep track of your customer issues, resolve them faster, and make your customers happy. Another buzzword is grids. So we talk about grids inside the system. Grids are really list views, or if you wanna think of it, something that looks like an Excel spreadsheet that you're seeing inside of Dynamics 365. So whenever you see all those columns show up, I'm sure that uh, Gordon's gonna put it up right behind me. Um, those are grids, so you can edit those grids, you can make them different, you can move the columns around, you can have your system administrator change the way that those show up for you, but essentially they're called grids or views that you'll see throughout Dynamics 365. And the last term that I wanna go through are buzzwords, are business process flow. So it sounds really fancy, it's just a simple way of saying a set of stages or steps that you're taking in association to some kind of entity in Dynamics 365. So for sales opportunities, there's usually a progression or set of steps by which your sales team takes um, action in order to close a sale. That would be the business process flow. So step one could be gather information. Step two could be quote. Step three could be um, get a purchase order. And step four is closing the sale. So those would be that would be the flow of that particular um, opportunity. You can have multiple business process flows inside of Dynamics 365. So you might have two different tracks two different types of sales that take different sets of steps. You can create two different kinds inside of Dynamics 365. For more information on CRM buzzwords, click the link and you can get more information from us on the topic. Join me next time for more Microsoft Dynamics 365 tips and tricks. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to set up a quick dashboard for you as a salesperson. So right now I'm focused on an out of the box CAN dashboard, the sales activity dashboard, but I can add a new one to the system either by doing a save as or I can do a new one. So we'll just go to new Dynamics 365 dashboard. And you can see here there are a number of links